Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jared New and today we're going to be unboxing something a little different. Now, I know on this channel I always unbox vinyl records and things like that, but today we're going to be unboxing a CD. What? Oh my goodness, he's unboxing a CD? I thought this channel was all about vinyl records, unsubscribed. No, 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 before you do that, hold off, let me explain myself. Every once in a while, I might unbox a CD, and you know what, that's okay, because this channel is about vinyl records, and it's about CDs, and it's about music in general. Mostly vinyl records, but every once in a while, so sue me, I'm gonna open up a CD. So I hope you guys understand. All right, so how did I come across a CD? Well. I went into this uh, this store in downtown Burbank the other day. I found myself at this place called Zamba. When I walked in, I heard this music, and it was beautiful music. I would say it's kind of like cafe, kind of lounge music. And it immediately reminded me of an artist that I've mentioned uh, in a previous video, Stacy Kent, in her album Raconte Moi, which is like French bossa nova, you know, very smooth cafe music. And this music kind of reminded me of that. So I walked up to the counter and I asked the guy, I said, hey, what music is this? And he said, oh, it's this. And he pulls out a CD that was just sitting there on the counter. I had to buy it, of course. So here it is. This is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but Putu Mayo Presents Paris. It's a dude with like red hair playing a guitar. It seems like he's serenading this lady that's sitting across from him. Okay, I think I got it started. All that cellophane. Here it is, now it's less of a shiny finish, more of a matte, so you can clearly see the cool artwork. Of course, it's not in focus right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Oh, that's cool, it's a little booklet that's actually attached to the, uh, the front here. It gives you like a bio, I think, of each artist that's playing on here. Every new track is a new artist, so that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the CD. Good, okay, it's not scratched, it's in good condition. And now I'm gonna pop this CD into my CD player and then I'll let you guys know what I think about it. All right, we're back. And that album was very cool. I liked it. It was charming, it was fun, it was very soft and gentle. And uh, it just kind of puts you in a good mood. Just a very lighthearted, fun, energetic mood when you listen to that. And I'm about to butcher all of these songs, so just bear with me. Uh, I don't speak French. My favorite songs were Samba de Mon Cure Qui Bat. <laughs> See, I told you, I'm terrible at pronouncing stuff. Dites moi tu. Number 10 was another one I liked by Amelie Les Crayons, looks like her last name. Uh, her song, Ta Petite Flamme. And uh, that song was really cool. That was probably my favorite track on the entire album. Why? Well, because it had that really cool, old-timey, like, French... A carnival sound. It was very unique. It was different than all the other ones and I guess that's why I liked it because it kind of stood out. You don't have to be able to understand French to appreciate good music and if you guys like French laid-back bossa nova kind of music or you like Stacy Kent, I'd highly recommend this album. Overall, it's a solid album, puts you in a fun mood. It's great background music if you want to have some friends over and kind of uh, feel like you're sophisticated. Um, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. It's very enjoyable. So if you guys enjoyed this review and you want to see more just like it, go ahead and join the Vinylize community, give this video a thumbs up, and hit that red subscribe button. I'm going to be coming out with a lot of great videos every Thursday and Saturday that you're not going to want to miss. Also, be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All the links are in the description below. And drop me a comment below and let me know what kind of videos you'd like me to make in the future because I'm taking requests. So anyway, most importantly, friends, keep spinning that vinyl, and I'll see you in the next video.